Hi Church, how many of us feel that God is taking too long to answer our prayers? Or some of us feel that there is no more hope because of our past? Today, let's look at how God worked in the life of Moses. Let's read from Exodus 3, 1-4. Meanwhile, Moses was shepherding the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. He led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. Verse 2. Then, and in some versions says, Suddenly, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire within a bush. As Moses looked, he saw that the bush was on fire but was not consumed. So Moses thought, I must go over and look at this remarkable sight. Why isn't the bush burning up? When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called out to him from the bush, Moses, Moses, here I am, he answered. Moses was a prince of Egypt and about the age of 40, he murdered an Egyptian who mistreated an Israelite. He fled to Midian, married Zipporah, and tended sheep. From prince to a shepherd. And for another 40 years, Moses was a shepherd. And a shepherd was an occupation that was detestable by the Egyptians. I wondered what Moses went through during those times. Fear, hopelessness, confusion, anger. While doing his daily routines, day in, day out for 40 years, tending sheep. Then, suddenly, the angel of the Lord appeared to him and caught his attention with a burning bush that was not consumed. That sudden encounter with God marks a new chapter in Moses' life. God never gave up on Moses. He knew that he knew what was best for him. It was a process of humility and dependency on God. God was doing that process. It is a process of molding his life to carry out the greater purpose of God for the next 40 years of his life. That is to bring the Israelites from Egypt to the promised land. Church, know that Moses was mighty in his words, deeds, and was instructed in all wisdom of the Egyptians, as in Acts 7.22. But God, humbled him from mighty to meek. Let me encourage you that God has not forgotten you and is still working in your life even though you feel that he is not there to be found. You might be trying in your own ability and strength to live your life in righteousness, but it turns back against you. Let me encourage you. Come and lay your burdens and struggles at the feet of Jesus and find that peace and rest. Walk with Jesus and work with Him for you will learn how to live in righteousness, grace and freedom. Allow God to work in your life by having a teachable and humble heart. When Moses was 40, he thought he could administer justice with authority, strength and wisdom. But at the end of the age of 80, he could only say, Who am I? From a man that depended on himself, now can only depend on God. And when God called out his name, Moses, Moses, he responded, Here I am. Would we allow God to prepare and mold us for his purpose and glory? And when he calls you on that day, would you also say, Here I am. God bless you.